So there's a lot to learn with Bitcoin and whenever you try to do something new, whether that be send a Bitcoin transaction um, using the Bitcoin core command line interface, whether that be linking your hardware wallet or hardware signer to your Bitcoin core node, whether that be doing try and do multi-sig, multi-signature for the first time. Whatever it is, whenever you do something for the first time, maybe uh, the few times after that, there's always, a, at the very least, going to be a voice in the back of your head that says, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Am I going to make a stupid mistake and end up losing my Bitcoin? Right? End up with a financial cost in the process of trying to do something more advanced. Um, with regards to Bitcoin transactions, Bitcoin security, whatever, right? And the solution to this is to use um, testnet or signet. So these are these are blockchains where the the currency on these blockchains are worth nothing, right? So you get a bunch of um, testnet coins or signet coins. You you practice whatever you're trying to do. Uh, if you make mistakes and you lose your coins, doesn't matter, they weren't worth, any, worth anything anyway in the real world. Um, but it, it just gets you to have a few dress rehearsals so you're comfortable, you know what you're doing before you um, carry it out with your mainnet coins, right? You don't want to be losing mainnet coins because of errors or holes in your understanding when you try to do something new. So definitely, definitely, definitely try things on on testnet, signet, uh, road test. I'll go through the differences between these. Um, so, so mainnet first. Um, on mainnet, so this is the Bitcoin blockchain. This is where real Bitcoin are stored and uh, transferred and um, transacted with. On on the Bitcoin mainnet blockchain, the block reward is currently six point two five Bitcoin. The block discovery, um, there's a new block on average every 10 minutes, it can be a lot more than 10 minutes, it can be a lot less than 10 minutes, but on average it's, it's about 10 minutes. And because the mainnet blockchain has been going since 2009, the blockchain is very big, right? so it's uh, around 400 uh, gigabytes. And if you're doing an initial blockchain download, you'll be verifying all the transactions in this 400 gigabytes um, of blockchain. So that's the mainnet blockchain. Um, testnet was, and there's been uh, three different testnets in Bitcoin's history, but testnet was the first attempt to, to provide a blockchain, to provide coins that have no value so that you can um, do this practice, these dress rehearsals, right? Um, but on testnet, the block reward is down to 0 0.024 Bitcoin. So in comparison to mainnet, it's many, many years, decades um, in the future to where mainnet is, and that's because um, uh, blocks have been discovered much faster um, due to the difference in the difficulty adjustment between mainnet and testnet. Um, so testnet, um, so firstly the, the block reward for mining the block on testnet is very, very small in comparison to mainnet, 0 0.024 Bitcoin. Um, and also you have this dynamic of um, long periods without a blockchain being found and then potentially tens of blocks being discovered in, in a few minutes. So. The difference between testnet and mainnet is, is that, yes, uh, block discovery isn't predictable on mainnet, but on testnet it's a lot more erratic, right? You can have, um, I don't know, hours without a block being found and then tens of blocks being found in a few minutes. And although that's possible on mainnet, it's highly, highly unlikely. Um, um, so, yeah, so, yeah, testnet's a lot more, a lot more erratic than mainnet. The blockchain is smaller, not as many people have uh, done um, constructed testnet transactions as they have on mainnet, but it's still moderately large, right? It's about 30 gigabytes. So testnet has these problems, right? Erratic block discovery, um, initial blockchain download that takes not as long as mainnet, but it still takes time. 
um, very tiny block reward. Um, so Signet is effectively a better testnet, right? Like it started recently in the last couple of years, the block reward is 50 Bitcoin, so that means uh, there's a lot more Bitcoin um, being generated by miners on Signet. Um, because there are um, block signers on Signet, um, they ensure that block discovery uh, replicates the block discovery on mainnet rather than um, the erratic nature of block discovery that we saw on testnet. Um, so, uh, so block discovery is similar to mainnet and also it's tiny, it's much, much less than one gigabyte of the blockchain size. It doesn't take that long to do that initial blockchain download. So um, Signet is great and Signet is what you should use if you want to be testing things on a public network. Um, it's, it's better than testnet and there are, um, there is work to actually um, activate some soft fork proposals on the default signet so that you can play around with and experiment with some uh, soft fork proposals that haven't been activated on mainnet and may never be activated on mainnet. Um, so if you're so yeah, get some coins um, for Signet. There's a, a Signet block full set up out there where you just have to generate a Signet address. Your Signet address will look like this. It'll be TB1Q if it's the Signet version zero, that's pre-taproot. And it'll be T TB1P um, if it's Signet version one and that's a taproot address. A taproot address on Signet. So you generate a, a Signet address, you go to a Signet full set, you request some Signet coins and then you can experiment and do dress rehearsals. And if, if things go wrong and you lose your coins, just go back to the Signet faucet and get some more Signet coins. Um, I'll end by saying what RegTest is. So RegTest um, isn't a public network and you have complete control over when blocks are mined. Uh, you're not connecting to um, like global peers like you would do on mainnet testnet Signet. So, so it's a lot easier, you don't have to worry about going to a faucet to try and get some coins on that chain because you completely control the chain. So, so perhaps you start there and uh, a, um, a lot of use cases should at least initially be tested like on your local blockchain that you have total control over first. Um, but you may choose to just skip that step and just go straight to a public network um, like Signet and test things there because as I said, the Signet coins uh, don't have any value, so um, the worst the worst thing that can happen is you need to go back to Fawcett to get some more coins. Um, so yeah, that is a summary of mainnet testnet Signet reg test. Um, go and get yourself some Signet coins. <laughs>